Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of our Vanilla RimWorld Let's Play. No mods, no expansion, maximum fun. We have a lovely base going on here. I'm so happy with it. It's actually, everything's feeling really, really quite good. Well, it's not as lovely as some of our other bases. I mean, we've, uh, between our West World run and Essentials Cat Cafe, we've been making some really beautiful uh, bases. Um, but you know what? It's, this one's fine. I'm mostly sticking to like simplicity and squares and, and you know, yeah, just straightforward simpleness as much as possible because it is, it is helping right now. Uh, we might be a little bit more creative later on, but mostly we're about sticking to basics, basic survivability, and trying to limit how much material we need for things where, where we can. I mean, I'm making a few, a few little, uh, I don't know, extras and niceties. Oh, we're getting a bit of a rice harvest, all right. Darcy, yeah, Darcy's the one who keeps falling a little bit more idle, but that's the way it goes. When Fob finishes this, what I might do is start paving some of the outside. Because it does increase our walk speed. So walk speed on soil is only 87%, whereas on like regular flooring, it's 100%. So we can get a bit of a speed boost. Also, it'll help manage some of the dirt, although Darcy's got plenty of time. Oh, is it just chilling over here? Right, my schedule, I am using this sort of schedule, which I like quite a bit. And you can do some fancy thing with biphasic. But ever since like the group recreation stuff, like I kind of like finally discovered how to use that. I've been very, very, very happy with it. I think we might end up putting a poker table in that corner. Although I guess, yeah, I would poker table's a direct upgrade to chess table, really. Yeah, I don't know. All right, it is chilly again. You know, we've got the need for, for warm clothes. Oh, Honey's actually doing some crafting. Oh, that's right. Honey's actually pretty good at crafting. And she is our crafter when she's not having to grow. Yeah, that is slowing things down, but we're working on our chain shotguns. Skill level 9. That's pretty good. I mean, the higher the skill level, I believe the faster they craft. Uh, but more importantly, the... Um, I get, this is a smithing job, I think. I guess I don't have smith. Is it just craft? What is it called? Maybe, maybe there's no speed boost for the crafting skill. I might just be missing it. That's entirely possible. Um, I had imagined that there was a speed difference, but maybe there isn't uh, just from skill itself. However, the quality of the goods is definitely going to be impacted by this. Um, whereas with apparel, um, the hit points, the condition, the endurance, you know, all those things of a piece of apparel dramatically affects its armor, especially as it drops. A lot of people have said it like really falls off a lot below 80%. Um, and so for like actual armor pieces, you might want to cycle it quite quickly. Um, for weapons, as far as I know, the actual hit points don't matter, but the quality has a big impact. Quality also has an impact for clothing. But yeah, I'm gonna take honey here and just see if these guys have anything to trade. I mean, again, it's just a single visitor, so it's we're not expecting too much. Although we could take their silver. They actually have a little bit more silver. Might want to... Well, we've got herbal medicine. We're fine now. Yeah, we can... Take that back. So we'll take basically all their money. We could gift them a little bit more, but you know, maybe I won't. I'll keep the extra helmets around because we might run out of material. That our helmets might decay and we're going to want some spares. Now, we do have our first chain shotgun over here. It's good quality as well, which is nice. Fob is currently using a revolver, which is not a very impressive weapon. So we're going to have Fob swap from the revolver to the chain shotgun. And that's what we're going to do. As we get more of the weapons over here, I'm just going to cycle through and see what people are armed with and look to upgrade them. I mean, I suppose Darcy's the hunter. We actually might have wanted to prioritize her. Oh, there's a bolt action rifle can hunt from range. It's not bad. Oh, I just got random gifts from these people. Okay. Well, that's quite nice. Um, right, Paula's got the high haul. If I reset you, Paolo, you'll haul. There we go, yeah. Because you were crafting. Um, as we've established, the craft, most of the jobs, if actually, I guess all the jobs that fall under crafting don't really use your skill. Um, some of these, I think the synthesized drugs may have a skill 
like minimum to do some of the things but generally speaking they don't give you crafting xp nor do they really look at your xp for quality um so anyone can carve blocks which is why paulo is working on that um i mean paulo does actually have crafting uh passion so we could enable more of these but he's mostly busy with the cooking. I suppose what we could do is we could give him, just in case he falls idle, I can, oh no, that's right, because of the authorship, it really does become a pain in the butt if multiple people are trying to work on projects. We have a transport pod crash. It's a torture named steroid crashing. If he survives, be badly wounded, not affiliated with any faction, so we can capture him with no penalty. And it's Vort's husband. Okay, well... Let's very quickly, we need to get a, maybe a proper prisoner room or something like that at some point, but I set up a little proper bed construction, but I'm going to flag you as a prisoner bed for now. So steroid over here. Okay, no permanent injuries. Dead in five hours. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to save you. Neurotic psychopath. I don't know if we'd want to save you. Although I guess Vort's going to be upset. Tell you what, we'll, we'll make the effort. Attempt to rescue Steroid. Vort, attempt to rescue your husband. I guess I could have had Fob, since Fob is currently idle. Um, well, tell you what, if you're idle, Fob, let's go and floor. We're going to build Flagstone. It's not as pretty, um, but it's... I guess it uses the same material. It does build faster. Constructing yields nothing. They are definitely faster to build. Uh, do I just want to use steel? Nah, let's let's go ahead and use this. Nah. Nah. So yeah, we'll build a little walk path around here for now, and then I guess people are going to be stuck kind of walking through some of these plants stuff regardless. Maybe a little bit of excessive busy work. It's also using up a fair amount of marble, but won't it look nice? Yeah. There we are. Okay. Keep Fob busy. All right. Steroid's been grabbed. I think they're going to die. It's going to be kind of sad. I think Steroid's going to die in Vort's arms along the way. A little bit tragic. But that's life on the rim. Who knows? Maybe maybe we'll save them. I don't think so. We might get them into the base and then they'll die here. Wait, what? Did I hit rescue? Oh, I hit rescue. Cancel. We need to capture. Okay. So you're here. I mean, we will try to recruit you if we can. Um, tell you what, we'll allow... I don't know if we actually have industrial tech medicine. I, don't, I think we only have glitter world or... What's your timer at? Oh, no, you're you're going to kick the butt okay, way too soon. Um, who's your best medical person? Oh, probably Honey. Okay, Vort's already going to work on it, and you're actually halfway decent. Maybe? Five seconds. Three. Two. If we finish a patch-up job, we'll get a little extra time, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, no. Oh, Vort, I'm so sorry. Oh, that is... That is really bad. We, we really should have stripped this person down first to get their clothing before it got tainted. But I don't think there's any way for me to have avoided Vort getting a My Husband Died modifier. Because even if the husband died out here, she still would have gotten it. I mean, we tried our best, didn't we? I think so. I'm not sure what else we could have done. Dang it. What I think I'm going to do is I will get a new sort of maybe possible prisoner spot flash something we should plan things we need well we will probably want to plan a proper hospital as well i mean that room for building over that room for a few buildings especially if i don't road everything here let me hold off on this some of this over here has already started all right i'll let that go 
like a hospital plus a um move you there. Like a dormitory slash prisoner room. Just something that's ready to go for whatever might happen. Because we could get an event where we have a bunch of people who want to stay with us. Um I don't know if that's available in vanilla or if it's like Rimworld or royalty or something like that. I don't know. I guess the guest event must be in vanilla. I don't think there's any reason that it couldn't be. And then it will be happy to have the extra dormitory and we can toggle the dormitory to a prison room if we do get a raid and we capture a couple people. And yeah, a dedicated hospital is nice because what it usually means... Oh, we have another chain shotgun. Well, Darcy, let's get you to equip the chain shotgun. And let's take a look at our wild animals over here. We'll do we'll do a little bit of hunting. Let's, let's hunt the alpacas. Not that we're hurting for raw food. In fact, we got a crazy amount of raw food. What's our, what does our kitchen jobs look like? We do have to find meals forever. See, actually, mostly we're waiting for more vegetable in here. But we can keep up the leather stuff as well. And that's that's okay. We do need more leather. And yeah, you should hunt pretty well. Let's keep an eye on on. Uh, Darcy here, while she goes out hunting with her chain shotgun. Looks like she already took out one alpaca. Oh, that's a... Mine. <laughs> Moving away a little bit, so we're not getting a triple shot. Oh, she had to eat here. Yeah, it, it is a little annoying to have to move super close, because then when they run away, you get some issues. But I think overall that's going to work pretty well. All right, this guy's going to mine that out. 21 components. I mean, we are burning through components making our weapons, but, you know, the weapons will also keep us alive. We will probably... Okay, money-making crops will probably have to be our drug industry. Artwork's another decent way to do it. But, uh... Okay, let's mine. What I'm gonna do is mine a slightly larger area. Just so we get all the components. We might end up just mining some rocks over there. A lot. One of the mods I do like a lot make it easy... Whoop, Manhunter Pack. Okay, hold on. Makes it easy to, like, just designate an entire vein, just to remove some of the micromanagement. So we have Manhunting Hares. Okay. So this is an event that can happen. Um, you, the animals get chosen, maybe randomly, maybe scaled up based on wealth and different things like that. But, so all these webbits over here, all these hares are maddened. They're manhunters, and they will be permanently manhunted. Sometimes a random animal on your map will suddenly become a manhunter for various reasons. Uh, they, become, they become hungry. Well, hungry is they're hunting a person. Manhunter is they just want to go around killing as many people as possible. But that will stop when they go to sleep. These will not stop when they go to sleep because they have Scaria. That's what's causing them to go crazy. They will auto-die in five days. Um, and when they die, either from being killed by you or die automatically, I believe they have a 50-50 chance of rotting. So we're not going to get all the meat out of all these because a bunch of them will just rot out you can just wait these guys out if you just lock yourself indoors because they won't smash down doors or anything like that if if you have someone that sort of like pokes outside and they see them they run this way and then you go inside and the door close they might bash the door a couple of times but they won't really go through your stuff um they do have a limited sort of targeting range as well what we want to do for now is i'm just going to go and forbid this door to make sure no one comes out through the top uh, and I, I'm going to tell everyone to get inside the base right now. In fact, I'm going to tell everyone to go here. Although Honey's a pacifist, so we'll just chill her up there. Because they may not always make it all the way to your kill zone, depending on where they spawn, how big your base is. This time they are. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? And Honey, you can take care of that. There we go. Flick the guns on, please. But a bunch of them will get hit by the traps. Okay. Oh, spring is here. Good, we can start growing. Yeah, this is going to be A-OK. -okay. Good! I think that was all of them. Now, some of them are still alive. So, what I'm going to do is just put a little hunt command here. So, Darcy's going to go and finish those. Let me actually reset you, Darcy, so you go after the closest targets. There you go. Just finish them off. I actually might just leave the turrets on for now, because we should have good excess power. So spring is here. It's not quite warm enough to start our, our planting season yet. 
but soon. Need warm clothes. Well, that's going to go away as well. Oh, we got some compact and machinery near the base. Okay. A little more research still happening. Yeah, we're going to get our geothermal hooked up soon. Then, or then our power problems will be non-existent for a long time. Oh, yes. The valuable spot. Well, we can consider going after some of those soon. Now that we are going to be a little bit better armed. And our engagement range right now is going to be really short with these chain shotguns. And I don't normally use them, but I'm just curious to see how it'll feel playing with them for now. Long term, yeah, we'll switch to, you know, maybe more assault rifles or even the um, pulse munition things, right? The, the, the laser beams, high tech ones. Although then we'll need a lot of components. We'll really want fabrication tech ready to go by then. Now, I do have access to build the high tech research bench which i really should do because it does research faster and a bunch of things have it as a prerequisite i guess i talked about doing a um a proper research room which could include sterile tiles for maximum rate maybe after this maybe i will go and look for sterile materials that would be useful for building a hospital but it's also useful for building a proper research thing yeah that's kind of tempting so a bunch of things have to be rebuilt. Oh, I guess... What we need is we need this. Toggle automatic rebuild of destroyed structures in the home area. I forgot that that's not on by default. So things that get destroyed now will automatically get a new job to replace them. Although in this case, I am building limestone over here rather than wood. So we might want to keep an eye on that. Now, traps by default have this rearm. And so when they trigger... They do have to be rebuilt, which is why I'm using wood over here. It's not, wood is not particularly effective, but it's really cheap to rebuild. Um, metal traps, I believe, do the most damage. Stone traps do a fair amount of damage. They take a long time to rebuild. Um, they're heavy to carry, and yeah, the, the construction times are really high on stone traps. I used to prefer stone traps because they're like, well, they do a lot of damage, and stone's fairly easy to come by, but yeah, less so. Are we out of marble now? Yeah, only limestone left. Actually, could it work out just perfectly that we had just enough to finish this and nothing else? Oh yeah, no, these are still designated over here. Um, do we still have marble on the map? I know that a lot of our stone, a lot of the stone around this place is made out of marble. But yeah, there may not be any more marble on the map itself. Oh, there's some here. Okay, there's a little bit. If I zoom out and double click. All right, let's put a little hall command on marble chunks keep them coming up and we don't want marble for for wall building um because it's fairly soft now our internal buildings could be made out of marble because they are very beautiful so they're nice for bedrooms and things like that got a mad rat so yeah this is mad hunter here but this one here i believe if it were to fall asleep this would reset oh i can unforbid this door over here too where'd that rat go i lost track of it which makes me unhappy i mean rats are small so they're hard to spot But they do count as hostile. Okay, luckily all my people, except for honey, are asleep. So there's no one out and about about to get ratted. So if the rat makes it to here, it might hit a trap or it'll get shot by these guns. So right now I'm okay. All right, sky's up. Okay, you're consuming a meal. Oh, you're going to go dig. You might get hit by the rat. I wonder if it just fell asleep. Oh, you're fleeing. So there must be a rat just outside. Oh, it's in the base! Okay. Scott, I'm gonna do this just to... Uh, I actually don't know if you can avoid any hits by doing this. Yeah, you're not gonna be fast enough, unfortunately. Ah, uh, well, maybe a little bit. Just trying to delay how often you get shot or bitten at. And actually, you were able to build enough, enough space between you so you could even take a shot, and that's good. Okay. Um, because by default, your your pawns won't use guns at, like, minimal range. Scott, I know you're going to go rest. I'm going to need you to equip a chain shotgun first. Since you are a miner, you're a little bit more likely to be out in the field. Let's make sure you get the next good gun here. But then, yeah, go rest. I mean, I think you're just scratched. There's no bleeds. Oh, right. I guess it's only with mods I see that. So there's a little bit of bleeding. And so, yeah, honey's going to go tent the sky. Good, 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 good. Okay. No one needs treatment. That's okay. Yeah, see, we have these rotted bodies over here, which is fine. 
Yeah, because they insta-rotted. Yeah, anyway, we might build some more of these um, sandbags just to provide more slowdown over here, but I don't have to worry about it quite yet. The kill zone is certainly functional. I mean, it's worked out already for us. We haven't gotten an actual raid with it, but... Yeah, Darcy's just idle. That's, that's okay. It's going to happen sometimes depending on what they've got going on. Oh, there we go. Planting season is now up over here. Yeah, cotton. And there was a corn in here as well too, right? Yeah, over here, good. Yeah, I mean, we this map is so rich on uh, fauna that we are able to hunt a fair amount. So it has our food situation is pretty good, but it would be nice to get a mix of vegetable and animal products so that we can make more fine meals instead of just simple ones. You know, a hamburger patty is okay, but it's much better if it's in a bun. Okay, everything's pretty decent here. And most people are busy. Oh, Bob's not actually constructing. Helping out with some of the hauling, which is okay. We don't mind that. Yeah, I just wish... I, mean, I can keep... If, if Darcy had things to tame... Now, some of these, like, like alpacas, um, ibexes, and things like that do make good uh, herd animals. So, I mean, I could go and spend them doing some taming. We could just tame and then butcher just to keep Darcy busy and also to boost her animal handling stats. But another manhunter pack. Iguanas. How many are we looking at here? That's not very many. Okay. That'll be fine. And he's in the base. Everyone else, I'll once again... Oh, you know what? The ones who are awake. Oh, yeah. So Sky was out and about. Iguanas are coming around. I know. See? They're not actually coming to the kill zone. Oh! Well, maybe they are. Maybe they just took a second. All right. And yeah, some people are going to be cranky. They're tired. <laughs> we just rebuilt these traps. Darn it. Well, <laughs> that was easy. Um, oh, and again, I guess I'll do the... What am I looking for? Hunt. There you go. Oh, Tarsi's cleaning blood here. Which, yep, yeah, fair enough. Oh, you're going to go rest. All right. Hey, geothermal power is done. Yeah, let me get sterile materials. Research is really fast. Now, I don't even need to necessarily build a geothermal immediately. But it's going to be a very good option for us to have. I'm going to leave this marble construction in place. Because we will get a little bit more. Oh, throwing a party. Well, that's good. I mean, it's a bit of a waste of time, but it does give a mood boost, which is very, very, very handy. Should build more comfy chairs, too. Although, I'm waiting for kind of cotton to come in for that. We might have enough leather of one category to do it. Uh, no, we need 110 for a comfy chair. So, mostly dining chairs for now. And we have infinite amounts of wood, so that's okay. You really need a weapon upgrade. In fact, it might be better to, like, tell you to equip one of these forts, but... We are working another chain shotgun. All right, more pregnancy. Are you, are you drinking milk there, Kiwi? The Kiwi was. Honey planting some smoke leaf. We're going to have to check our drug policy soon. Oh, there's more silver over here. Hopefully we get a trade caravan soon. Um, I'm also going to issue a deconstruct command over here. And a... I kind of wish remove floor was here, so I wouldn't have to go on floors and then do this. Right, we'll get some blocks out of this. Oh, ambrosia! Okay, so ambrosia's an interesting plant. I don't think we've talked about it. Um, it uh, It's delicious, produces a drug-like mood boost. Cannot be farmed, but it makes it very valuable. Um, so yeah, it is very valuable as a trade good. It's also... Um, uh, makes people happy. It is kind of addictive. Now, what we want to do is we want to wait for it to be grown, ideally fully grown, so we get the maximum ambrosia. It can be kind of annoying to remember that there's ambrosia out here to collect later on. One of the tricks you can do is you put a growing zone 
that encompasses all of it. Now, so I, I think I'm doing this right. I think I'm remembering this correctly. Make a, a growing zone that covers all the ambrosia, but turn off sowing. So no one's actually going to go into plant here. What's going to happen is your grower will come over and any plants that are fully grown will be harvested. I think they'll also come down and chop these trees down, which isn't necessarily needed. I guess what I could do is I could shrink the zone to not cover the trees like that. But yeah, once these plants fully mature, they will be harvested automatically, which is very, very, very convenient. And then we don't have to worry about micromanaging that. I believe that is the, I'm doing that right. I haven't done it as much with my modded games because I use um, a like a work manager thing that can auto designate chopping down certain plants and things like that. And I usually use that to collect my ambrosia these days, but sky digging the silver ore. Yeah, we'd like a big trade camera. Ideally, it's a lot of components. We still have some on the map, but we really, you know, yeah, you, you want to buy components every chance you possibly can get because it is the big material choke point for your base. Now, we will get the ability to produce our own components out of steel. Um, and it is usually something I try to get going fairly quickly. Um, we are going to need some more... What's the limits on these? Yeah. We're going to need some more limestone blocks as well. I guess any blocks. Did I set a, um, a range on these? No. So just people haven't gotten around to the, the crafting over there. I mean, Honey's busy doing all this all the time. We could have Paolo... I mean, we need you to cook. You don't art. I guess I'll bring down the hall, actually. You know what? Yeah. I mean, it is nice to have someone doing some hauling. But really, what's going to happen here, when Paolo doesn't have anything to cook, then they, now they will craft, because we don't have anything else set up. And that will mean um, making blocks for us, which is going to be very, very important. So right now, you're cooking, which is okay. Not going to complain about that, making some fine meals, because we did get some vegetable harvests now. And yeah, I guess we're growing a little bit of rice, a little bit of potatoes, and then some corn over here. Ideally, I do like to shift all my food production to corn because it's less labor intensive, but I kind of don't mind the different crops. It's not like we have huge... Oh yeah, we got some corn over here too. It's not like we have huge amounts of potatoes and rice growing. And it does kind of break up the pattern a little bit. And that's not the end of the world. But yeah, he's going to spam out. Paolo's going to spam out tons of fine meals right now. Just because we're getting a little bit of harvest. He'll use up all the vegetables he can. It'd be great if Darcy could haul. Gosh, that would make such a difference in terms of not having idleness. Yeah, rebuilding all those traps. I mean, it keeps Fob busy. Make sure their construction uh, skill stays pretty high. 13's not bad. I actually kind of expected it to be higher. Okay, sterile material is done. I could also just not research something for a little while just to free up the work somewhere else. I love auto doors, but not in vanilla because they can break down and therefore they just consume components. And I don't like that. Um, water mills are amazing if you are in a river. They are such a good source of power. We, I mean, we're going to want carpets at some point, probably, maybe, I don't know. I guess drug production, because we are going to want some like ability to make medicine make oh well, right we are starting a drug industry so yeah we do need drug production tech to make some cash yeah okay so we're gonna get started on that palo still cooking yep boy it'd be great if we had a uh, a big dog to do some hauling for us poor little kiwi can't do it but it does keep our people happy so he went rebuffed innocent prisoner died for work, little party. People are mostly happy, which is nice to see. Okay. Still hoping for like horses. Horses or dromedaries. I mean, I don't know. I don't remember if Rimworld does um, biome based animals by default. I mean, it's certainly the biome impacts how many animals you see. Like, I don't know if dromedaries only show up in the desert, for example, or if they can show up anywhere. I don't know if there's a way to, to see that. I'm not certain. But, you know, we might just get a trade caravan with it. Dromedaries and horses are both, like, rideable, good carrying capacity, da-da-da-da. I think some people argue that dromedaries might be slightly higher, like, slight advantage to stats in some field. I don't remember what. It might just be the fact that camel hide is, like, a decent leather. I'm not sure. But it doesn't make much of a difference, and I'll be happy with either one. 
All right, four degrees. I mean, it has gotten at least warmer, so we don't have to, we don't get the messages about parkas anymore, which is good. I'm trying to think, is there something I could be doing preemptively here to get started? I could send my own trade caravan. Oh yeah, these guys, it might be nice to be friends with these actually, because they are close and they're not primitive. They actually would be a good trading partner. Um, I don't know if I can just, if I send a caravan to them, can I just offer them stuff? I don't know if I can. We might need another peace talk or we can build transport pods and send them. We got more Ambrosia. Oh, wow. In our kill zone. Interesting. Now this does, I think because trees get chopped in kill zones and we don't want trees in our kill zones because they provide cover for our enemies. This actually might be a decent option if we prevent sowing. So again, we're doing this so that it collects the ambrosia bushes, but that, will that keep these trees chopped? Like down to nothing? I actually don't know. We'll have to see what happens here. Yeah, honey's gonna be very busy in the spring. We do have a lot of crops for the size of our colony. But some of these are cash crops. It'd be nice if this area was a little closer to our base. It's not that far, but you really do want to minimize move uh, walking distance. But mostly there was rich soil over here. So we want to take advantage of it if we could. Take a look at our animals over here. Yeah, nutrition growth is still higher than nutrition consumption, which is great. There are a few things you can do with planting crops and stuff inside of your animal pens to provide extra nutrition. In Vanilla Rim World, I don't tend to care for it too much. Um, I find it personally a little bit awkward, uh, but I do want to give a, a commentary out here to like growing dandelions or something inside of your animal pens. Um, some people feel that it works out really well. Uh, personally, I'm going to say pass on that. Um, for me, just the way I play it and things. And it, it, with mods, it can be a little different about me with mods. Everything is different, but in vanilla, yeah, I don't terribly care for doing the thing where we grow crops inside here to add some extra nutrition. I feel like Darcy's moving really fast. Do you have like go inspiration or something happening? Actually, your movement speed is only 93% because of a scar. Chemical starvation, right. We do need to get you some drugs there. Speaking of drug production, we are, so if you look at this, we can get all the way to medicine, but we do need our high-tech research bench down. Um, I'll go for, well, actually, I'm not going to be able to make panoxiclin because we need neutromine for that. So I may as well unlock, I mean, I don't think the order is going to matter because we have to wait for the crops to grow anyway. Okay. I... A little surprise. Paolo, are you still cooking? Oh, no, no, you are cutting some blocks. Okay. Right, you're cutting marble first, which is then instantly going into the flagstone over here. I'm actually thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order here. I'm going to get you to make limestone first because I'm going to set up some new limestone buildings over here. I could make... It's not a lot of room in here, but like... I wonder what we could do with like a long house this way. There's room to do things. So, for example, our high-tech research bench. We could have a little research room over here. It's not going to be very big, but that's going to be fine. And maybe what I'll do is I'll make two... sort of barracks-feeling rooms. Um... Okay, next to beds, ideally what you want is you want an end table next to a bed. Because what that does is it gives a buff. And you can do this. As long as they're they're adjacent in some way, that works. Which actually means, I mean, you could put in a bed over here that works. You can also do a trio. Maybe, I'll, maybe I won't do this one because it does feel a little bit awkward. But maybe I'll set up something like this. And maybe I'll make a second one here separate the batteries are awkward we can move through the batteries although what i might just do is move them let me reinstall you here oops not build copy reinstall there yeah i'll do something like that okay i'll start with this and maybe i'll just make this the prisoner room um i guess we're gonna need an end table adjacent to all of them I mean, that's a lot of prisoners. We'll do this. It's a, it's a little bit awkward, but it's not terrible. Do I have enough leather for one comfy chair? Yes, I have enough camel hide. 
for a camel hide comfy chair, which I'm going to want at this research bench. All right. Do that, and yeah. So, um, limestone blocks are going to be higher priority here. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. Let's get some power. Uh, some of it's already going through. I'm just going to run it up here to make sure that this room is going to have power because it needs it for the research bench, and we're going to want a light in there as well. Okay. Good. And then, yeah, we'll build... So, yeah, these. this is not going to look terribly pretty, but... The thing is, I went and built, started building bedrooms right away for the mood boost. A lot of people run their base for a very long time with just a barracks. They try to make it as nice as possible. Um, ultimately, between the fact that it's just a barracks and between the disturbed sleep modifier, it's not going to be anywhere near as good as individual bedrooms for, for mood. But it does save you a lot of space um, and, um, and keeps your material cost low. So therefore, your wealth level stays a little bit low, which is pretty handy. But, so we'll have these ready to go for whatever might come up. Yeah, I might just flag this as a permanent prisoner room. And then just leave this as a something. Actually, what I might do... I'm going to put a forbid on these. We don't need this built right away. I'll do this little room, that's fine. And we'll keep the space reserved and ready to go. But I don't actually need to build it right away. Because I don't want to increase the wealth. If we do suddenly get a group of visitors who want somewhere to stay... Um, then we'll just unforbid this and hopefully quickly construct this area. Okay, I like that quite a lot. Bob coming back, building these walls. All in a bunch of chunks. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna light. And a light. And a light. And again, actually, I'll forbid this. Oh, random warriors just passing by. These are people we could capture. Now, these are from various factions, so we would obviously really upset those factions if we did that. Oh! Oh! Okay, an 18-year-old cave child named Berg is calling from nearby. She's being chased by tribespeople. Begs for safety, offers to join us. So this person will join us. We don't know what their stats are. We will get attacked, but these are only going to be primitives. I'm not worried about this. Now, generally speaking, accepting like a raid that you accept via quest tends to be more potent than a, gen uh, a randomly generated raid. But this one here is still fine. Our wealth levels are still low enough. Um, I think we're pretty well ahead of our damage curve. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, Vort, I'm going to get you to upgrade this bolt action rifle right away. There we go. Berg has just joined. So, Berg, let's take a look. No health problems. I mean, you're young, so that's expected. Okay, you're a psychopath. Again, that's not actually necessarily a bad thing. Undergrounder, so they really want to stay inside. Not bothered by darkness. We'll see what we can do. Being a miner makes a lot of sense over here. Some shooting passion, construction, animal. Yeah, that's going to be handy. And you're not incapable of anything. Berg's going to be really useful. Let's go and equip her with the auto pistol. I think it's a her. Yeah. Yes, it is a her. And we'll do the standard sort of arrangement for tasks over here. Let's see. Whoops. What we might do with you. Okay. Yeah, just blank everything out for now. Um, you do have uh, ranged combat passion, which could make you a decent hunter if you skill up. But Darcy doesn't have much to do, so we really do want her to keep going there. Um, and same thing, like, Berg does have some passion for animal skill, but Darcy has nothing much to do, so we're going to keep it there. A second constructor is actually a very nice idea. Especially since Fob could actually do more crafting and stuff like that. Um, and then the mining here. I think the construction over the mining is better unless we want to stop sky from mining because sky had a bunch of other expertise but she doesn't and then we'll put the haul and clean over here so i mean berg's got nothing else to do they will haul and clean berg will botch some of the construction ideally we'd like berg to focus on things that don't have a quality associated to it or is not very expensive to build so if she botches it it's not a big deal like um fob we really want fob to prioritize working the workbench here because if you botch that you could waste some important material so we'll do that. Berg, you're still equipping your auto pistol. Excellent. Because we are going to be ready for the attack. Our power here is already on and sorted. There we go. So the tribes people are moving in. Trying to chase Berg. But Berg has a little bit of a head start, hopefully. Run, 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 run. I mean, Berg has nothing to slow down their moving speed. So this should be fine. Sky, uh, you shouldn't go that way. I'm just going to get you 
Actually, I'm going to grab everyone except Berg, because Berg still has to equip their weapon. I'm going to tell him to come over here. You can tell, you can um, draft someone and then tell them to equip the weapon, but I'll just set it up this way. So they're going to try to chase Berg to here, but then they will reroute around to our kill spot. Hopefully they don't just smash the wall. Okay, yeah, you're equipping some armor. Oh, they are. Okay, some are moving over here. Um, I'm going to ignore the ones that are smashing open this door. We're just going to go for defense. All right, I need to sleep. Oh, they changed their mind. Because it was like, worst case scenario, one or two people were going to come through here. I was like, let's take care of the bulk. And actually, as, once a certain critical number of them die, yeah, they'll start to flee. And okay, that's it. We can't we can't chase anyone. I mean, we could attempt to maybe get a shot off an eagle, but we don't really have many people with range. So we'll just cancel that. All these guys died. We'll um, unforbid all items on the map, just these weapons, and that was it. And tribes people again, not very dangerous. Sometimes tribes raids can come in huge numbers. That is the big difference. Um, individually, they're easy to kill, but they can come with such huge numbers that you get overwhelmed. Um, but this was not going to be the case. These traps were good enough, even the wooden traps, because they don't show up with any armor, right? They're they're not armored, so they're very easy and squishy. Berg, I'm going to get you to prioritize moving these batteries, please. Just because it's screwing up our movement rate right now, and that's annoying. Anything else? Oh, Fob. Yeah, I interrupted you. Come back here to build the uh, research bench. And actually, you'll be responsible for building this chair as well. Um, we might want Fob to build all the beds as well, because they do generate quality, but I'm not as concerned about that. Okay, we're getting Knoxiclin going on. Yeah, we'll set up a little drug-making system. Actually, Fob, why don't you work on the lamp first? Because that should help the other rates. Thank you. There you go. Now go back to this research on the bench. Great stuff. You're consuming meal. I'll let you eat your meal. And then once you're done that... No, instead of the power conduit, work on the camel hide chair. Because you've got the higher skill, and this does have a quality attached to it. It'd be nice if you could uh, designate, like... Because when you're crafting, you can set a, a, a particular skill requirement over here. Right? You can say, listen, no one with a cooking skill lower than blank is allowed to cook. To prevent, you know, poisoning. You can't do that with construction. There's an excellent mod called Quality Builder that will make it so that even if you have multiple people assigned to construction, only the best constructor will finish uh, things that have a quality attached to them, like furniture. Whereas all your generic constructors could work on walls. I mean, they might still botch things, but it just makes sure that like only the best person finishing things, which is nice. Okay, we're going to do sterile tile in this research lab. And the reason is the speed at which you can research over here, you can see we're only researching at 56% of our possible rate. Well, currently this counts as outdoors, which is part of it. So we're only getting 75% of our value, but then we're only getting 75% again because of cleanliness. Um, I mean, once this is indoors, things will help automatically. So once we get this door up, for example, and a roof up, but we're gonna build a sterile tile. These have a built-in cleanliness bonus. You don't actually have to put tile under the door. Normally I, uh, well, you're gonna want something under the door to not have a dirt spot that people walk on. It doesn't count as part of the room. So I don't actually have to put a sterile tile under the door. Um, I might just wanna put black if a flagstone. Normally I put whatever tile I make the room out of under the door, because I think it looks nice, but sterile tiles are kind of expensive because they need silver and things. So I'd rather not use it for that. But we'll get this. So again, we're waiting for this to become indoors. Oh, Berg slept there. Yeah, we didn't have a bed for Berg. So this is, again, is going to be a prisoner room later, but for now it's not. We got a visitor. Yeah, from a faction. We could look at trading. These individual visitors very rarely have anything I'm terribly excited with. Although we can, you know, just sell a few things for a few extra bucks. Yeah, all right, let's do it. We probably have a little something something. I will want to floor that room as well. Um, yeah, like we don't need to keep these weapons around. You don't have a ton of money. You do have components. What was I just saying? Wow. All right, let's buy all your... You have proper medicine as well? Reinforced barrels. These are used to make mortars. And they can be kind of hard to come by. Um... Okay, there's not enough. Uh... I'll buy one of these. So that's going to leave us with some silver. We'll have one reinforced barrel to make a mortar with. That is going to be really useful. Okay. That was actually excellent. And mostly I'm very excited about the fact that we got some components out of that. 
I wish I had my priority hall mod. Uh, what I might want to do is just to make sure everything gets indoors. I'm just going to go and set hall to a one for everyone. Short term here. Because I don't want that stuff to rot out there. That would be tragic. Okay, that was actually really nice. Yeah, I should have used something else for the flagstone. Because I really want to use the marble tiles indoors for beauty. But that's okay. We are going to make more marble. Actually, what I'm going to do at the stone cutter's table, I'm going to put the marble back up here. So we can finish these floors. Yes. All right. I like that. Okay. Still waiting for the components and medicine to get brought inside, which should happen quite quickly as everyone wakes up for the day because their hauling priority is set really high up. Okay. You're going to haul wood that's just lying around. Sometimes I like to do this. I like temporarily. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of components waiting outside. What do we have here? More silver ore. Yeah. All right. We'll mine those. Um... And then more components over here, too. I gotta say, we got we got a lot of rich uh, stuff on this map. It's kind of impressive. Oh, jeez, I gotta put a cut in this video. Wow, RimWorld. It's so easy to get, like, super into it. Now, at some point, what they're gonna do is start hauling the rocks that I've designated for a haul, and I'm not sure that that's super mega important. It's interesting, though, because, like, ultimately, you run out of things to haul. So, if you do set everyone to super high max priority haul all the time... It actually is not so bad. Like, you go through the first period when you first turn it on where everyone just does that and ignores their quote-unquote real jobs. But afterwards, it gets better. It's a little bit awkward when you're doing mining because they'll mine one block and then haul it instead of doing things kind of in a in a bulk kind of haul thing. Same thing if you're uh, collecting a bunch of plants. Yeah, I think people are mostly hauling the stone now. So I'm going to put their haul back down to like a three is going to be okay. All right, let's put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'm still enjoying this run a lot. I hope you are too. I, I love the modded runs, but this not no mod run, I mean, it feels like a completely different game. I know we keep saying it, but it keeps being true. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.